Agbe no miri ran ni teja. Agbe no miri ran ni teja. Agbe no miri ran ni teja. The clarity of the fish is in the waters. The clarity of the fish is in the waters. The clarity of the fish is in the waters. Um, this is just a quick um, little video regarding the goddess of money or the goddess of wealth called Eshodara. So in Yoruba, whether it's contemporary Yoruba idioms or Yoruba society or the much more deeper occultic um, science of Yoruba people, we're speaking on um, true Yoruba people here. And when we're dealing with Eshodara, we're dealing with the organic, the authentic, the original Eshodara, not the so-called Eshodara a lot of people are kind of familiar with. Why this video is being made uh, is because people will say things like Eshulolowo, meaning money belongs to Eshu. And that's very true. Where did you hear these sayings coming from? It's always coming from um, the people that we consider the Yoruba people of today. Um, as we know, Yoruba is more than just speaking the language. It's much more deeper than that. Yeah, but well, that's another whole new, uh, I mean, different, a whole kind of topic. So we're going to leave that to the side. So let's stick to the point. The point is people will say Eshulo Lowo, saying um, Owo in Yoruba, um, this contemporary Yoruba means money. In English means money or wealth, you know, wealth, money, and um, Eshu. We all know what Eshu is. Hopefully you do. You know, um, if you don't, you should not be on this planet, no finding out this true being called issue. You are on this planet to find out. <laughs> I mean, your whole destiny is tied up to it, whether you like it or not. So we're going to leave that one for you to find out. So why are we saying this thing? So people say Shilolo, um, money belongs to um, issue or uh, the wealth is in the hands of Eshu. That's very true. Eshu's got everything on lock. Uh, true lockdown, really. You know, uh, that's why people say Eshu got the whole world in his hand. Eshu got the whole world in her hand, which the so-called Christian copied from the true organic Yoruba cosmic living. Yes, said it. The Christ, so-called Christian copied that. You know, so the whole world, um, the universe came through the life force called issue. So when we say issue, um, money belongs to issue or issue owns money. Uh, and that's very true, but not in the, the so-called, the way people talk about money belongs to issue. Um, Naira, for example, the currency, the so-called currency, the we spend in Nigeria is called Naira, and that's very true. Naira belongs to Eshu, but not your fake Naira. Eshu is the goddess of Naira, but not that Naira people spending now. As a matter of fact, it's going to do with Eshu at all. So when we really say Eshu, what we're talking about, Eshu is the goddess of wealth. Eshu is the goddess of money. Eshu is the goddess of Naira. What is Naira? One of the ancient meaning of Naira, you know, we're not going to get deep into that, you know, but we're just going to drop a little bit of hints. One of the ancient meaning, the true meaning of Naira is light. So Ishu is the goddess of light. Ishu is the goddess of money. Because money is light. And light is wealth. But we're not talking about the money people are accustomed to today. And we're not talking about the Naira the Nigerians are spending now. Those Nagarians, man, they're supposed to be spending true Naira. 
So Naira has become um, the stuff that people killing each other for because people don't have no light. They don't have no light left in their body. This is why people killing each other for Naira because they don't have the true Naira left in their brains. They don't have the true Naira saturating their body. That's why they're killing each other. That's why parents will kill their children for this fake Naira. That's why husband will destroy the, the wife for this fake Naira. That's why the wife will poison the husband just because of this Naira. That's why the children will destroy or murder or kill their parent just because of this Naira. The Naira they actually dealing with is not the Naira that belongs to Asian. Ishu is a goddess of light. Let me repeat that. Ishu is a goddess of light. It's going on to do with the fake Ishu your people know about. We're talking about the real ancient one now. The one that owns wealth. The one that owns wealth. The Ola Kari Aye. Ishu Odara. That's one that owns wealth. The true wealth. You know, the true wealth. With the true wealth, that's what we say, um, health is wealth, you know, issue is wealth. You cannot have health without issue. So when we're really speaking of issue, low, 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 the statement itself is very true, but the action behind it is not. So issue, the money belongs to issue, that includes Naira, like we said, Naira means light, so light belongs to issue. Issue is the light of the world. Issue is the money of the world. Issue is the currency of the world. Issue is the wealth of the whole nations. You see? So the last time, let's say for Nigerian, for example, the last time Nigerian people are wealthy was when they follow issue of Dara. Not the fake issue of Dara they're talking about. We're talking about the real issue of Dara. That was the last time Nigerians were wealthy. They follow the true issue of Dara. The goddess of money. The goddess of wealth, the goddess of health. You cannot have health without issue of Dara. You cannot have wealth without issue of Dara. You cannot have money without issue of Dara. You cannot have unity without issue of Dara. This is why people been talking about unity, but unity is not coming. Why? Because they disrespect the issue of Dara, which is the true unity. They did say money is not coming, true money is not coming because they disrespected a show that which is the true money. Wealth is not coming. Why? Because they disrespected a show that which is the true wealth. Health is not coming. Why? Because they disrespected a show that which is the true health. And light is not coming because they disrespected a show that which is the true wealth. And more so, Naira is not coming. Why? Because it is a special issue that which is the true Naira. So if you want real Naira, issue is the one. You see? Issue is the oneness of Naira. Uh, until that is acknowledged, then people will not really understand what's really going on. So the yeah, the, the slogan or the phrase Issue Lulowo is true, but not the fake issue. You love people worshipping. Issue Luni Naira. Yes, that's true, but issue is going to do with the fake Naira you're spending. Like we say, she is the goddess of light. So all your uh, millionaires, all your billionaires, so called billionaires, so called uh, millionaires, those so called trillionaires, you don't have no light in you. You don't have no issue in you because you don't know the true light. You don't know the true Naira. You don't, you don't know the true millionaire. You don't know the true billionaire. You don't know the true trillionaire. You don't know the true light. You know, issue is the way, the truth, and the life. Until that is acknowledged, you're just wasting your time. You know, so issue Lolo is true. Issue is the goddess of money. Issue is the goddess of wealth. Issue is the goddess of wealth. Issue is the goddess of light. And issue is the goddess of unity. That's how it goes. Ishulalu, the supreme one. Ishulalu, the Asian being. Oneness to the ancestors. Oneness to the true Nagarians. 
honestly the true nigerians the yoruba people the last time you lot have peace is when you follow issue so if you want peace follow issue and peace will come your way a boru boy a boy boshi share a share a share a share